Wow. I'm smacking my lip. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stoned here. But if you're new, you can call me Kelly. I'm a canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be taste testing six different flavors of rosin. I see lots of people doing like cappuccino flights, beer flights, margarita flights, matcha flights. But today, I'm catering this one to the hash heads. Join me as I take you on the ultimate challenge of tasting and ranking a rosin flight to find out which one is the absolute best. For those of you who are uninitiated, a rosin flight is a selection of six different unique flavor profiles and aromas. This allows you to explore the vast variety that this plant has to offer. It's not a wine flight, baby. It's a flight. The thing is, taste is subjective as long as smell. Something that might be good to me might be on the complete opposite spectrum for you. But hey, that's what makes this so exciting. We all have our own unique preferences. I'll be honest, I've been excited for this for weeks since I placed the order. This was a product that I purchased with my own money, so no company is swaying my review for you. I wanna let you know my different factors in determining the quality product. I have a journal here where I rank all of my new flavors that I get and I rank it based on taste, sight, nose, and effects. I think those adequately hit four key pillars when ranking and determining the quality and efficacy of a product. For my scale, very hard to get. 10 is like perfect, like top of top tier, so hard to find, knocks my socks off. Nine's also very hard to come to. Nine's like, I will cross the country on a unicycle to get it. Eight's pretty freaking high for me. Six is like industry standard, could use improvement. Five is neutral, and then three and below. Four and below is just different tiers of bad. <laughs> I just thought I'd tell y'all my ratings here. All right, let's move on to the product itself. Okay, I'll start with the more daytime leanings. This is Gary Payton, and then we have classic Gorilla Glue. Next, moving on to my favorites in no particular order, Velvet Cake. Next, we have Night Nurse. Oh my God, I love the, I love the little nurse on the top. Then we have Punch Breath. This sold me for this flight, Melted Strawberries. So let's get into tasting and ranking, shall we? I really hope that you guys are at home session along with me. This isn't just so you can just watch me enjoy some product. I wanna be sessioning with you at home. I want you pulling out your product. I want you thinking, hmm, how would I rank this on the taste, effects, nose, and sight scale? All right, grab your products, grab your rigs, and let's sesh. Let's do it, do it, do it. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we're going to start out with Night Nurse. That is the cross of Hash Plant and Fire OG. So it is going to be, to me, and my endocannabinoid system, it's the most sedative. We're going to be enjoying all this product out of my clean Puffco. I just cleaned the glass. I just cleaned the chamber. So we are going to get the top terp performance and flavonoids out of this. All right, look at that. All right, so let's go first off of smell and sight for hash plant. Smell, it's giving, it's almost a little fruity. And as far as sight goes, it wasn't the most like gorgeous of presentations. It's a little crumbly and falling apart. It is still moist and majority of it staying together. It's not completely crumbly. On sight and nose, we're starting off at like what I would call like a good industry standard. It's not bad, it's not great. That for me ranks at a six. We'll do a six on sight and we'll do a 6.9 on the nose. It's nuanced, but still tickling my pickle. All right, so let's go on to taste and effects. Cheers. First rip of the day. Wow, taste right off the bat, nothing on the exhale. You get it on the inhale, it's definitely a more like very earthy taste. It quite contrasts the nose. You can definitely tell it is an OG plant lineage because it does taste like that earthy OG. Nothing too crazy to write home about this strain. It wasn't too harsh, but the effects on this one, the effects might be my favorite because it's very sedative and I 
love the sedative effects. I love getting punched in the chest. Into the couch, like, hello, I'm here, I'm here. Taste I'll go like a like a seven. And effects I'll give like a like an eight and a half. Honestly, like this is a really solid effects. The solid. All right, so Night Nurse overall, we're gonna start with 7.9. I like the Night Nurse, excuse me, Night Nurse. Hello, I'm in pain and I need one fatty. Let's Q-tip this and let's get on to the next one. The second most sedative I would say out of this plate would be the Punch Breath. Yeah. This is the Mendo Breath and Purple Punch. You can definitely tell it's a purple cross for sure. The site, it's very moist, a little crumbly. I'd give this a seven, definitely a lot better on the nose. I'd give this like a high seven on the nose. It's like light, but flavorful. The consistency, it's moist. It could be worse, could be better. A little crumbly, could be crumblier. Honestly, this is super fun for me. I love tasting and appreciating all that each product has to offer. Wow. Wow. I'm smacking my lip. My God, am I sweating. Ooh, the taste in that one, immaculate. You definitely get that grape on the inhale. Had me smacking my lips. Okay, taste, I'm gonna give like a low eight. I really liked it. It wasn't too pungent, it wasn't overwhelming. Oh, I was just gonna write the effects and I forgot I was recording and I started cleaning my ears. I would give this effects an eight. Oh my God, it's great. I love it. I feel perfectly relaxed, but not in the sense that like I could fall asleep. And the nose, I would give 8.2. Eight on the effects. I really dig the effects. Really like the nose. Next, getting towards more the uplifting effects. We're going to go for the melted strawberries. The cross of GMO and strawberries. So this was the one I was most anticipating and excited for. And I think the best looking one of them all. It was a nice turp filled little puddle layer on top. It was most congealed into itself. One giant glob. You know, you didn't have any parts breaking off or any crumbling. Oh, stinky. Oh, the nose on this. The first aroma that tickles your nose is that funk, that GMO funk. And then you smell for a bit longer and get past like that tingling in your nose and you get a little bit of that fruity, you know? You can tell it's crossed with strawberry. Phenomenal, I'd give this an 8.9 on the site and an 8.9 on the nose. Like this is as good as it can get before getting like, award winning. I can't hype this one up enough. Woo! <laughs> Going in on some melted strawberries and then we'll be halfway. Sesh checkpoint. Grab your product, grab your rig. Let's enjoy together. Oh my God. Mmm, smells so good. Cheers guys. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, mm, that's the one. Winner, winner, pecan dinner. I will rate this. Wow, the taste, it like, coats your mouth when you inhale. I guess it would taste like you think it would. Definitely like earthy on the inhale, slight, slight fruit on the exhale. I'd rate this one overall an 8.9. I think this is the best one out of them all. I think it takes the cake, but let me know in the comments. By the time you get to the end of the video, which one do you think you'd like the most? I wanna get a conversation going in the comments. I love hearing y'all's like flavors and like terp profile preferences. So let me know. Chat with me, I chat back. I'm going to take a halfway break. Yeah, I'm gonna go stare at a wall for a few minutes. Be right back. Five minutes later. All right, we are at our halfway point. Next up is velvet cake. This is the one of lemon cherry gelato and pina acai. This one's a little more pungent, definitely smacks you in the nose. The sight, it is a little darker, but it does have a nice like tarp layer and shine to it. And it isn't crumbling or breaking apart. So I'd give this like upper sevens, like 7.8. And the nose I'd give like a seven and a half too. I really like it, not too strong. Definitely like 
distinct. All right, let's go in. I really need a hot knife. Oh my goodness. I keep being like, oh, I don't need it. So I don't spend money on it, but I need it. I need it. We are still going in on the green setting on the Puffco. I think this is the best for the perfect balance of flavor and cloud production. Ooh, cheers. I'll be honest, the taste was almost like non-existent on the inhale and the exhale. When I breathe out my nose, like I can like taste it and smell it still. It's lingering in the back of my palate and it's like a little gassy, which is weird given all of the presumed fruity turt on this lineage. So I'm really surprised this isn't like a fruit bowl. I love fruity turps when they're present and done right and they're back crossed between flavors that accent one another. But if you're crossing lineages, you have to be mindful that tastes can cancel one another out. And I think that's might what have occurred here. But I will say it brings it back in the effects. The effects column is where it gets me and why I keep going back for it. It is almost a 50-50. It is definitely more of like a nighttime leaning hybrid, but it's perfect. Like it's functional. I definitely like it for during the day, but I'm not trying to be like couch locked. So, so I'd end this in like a seven, just cause there is room for a lot of improvement. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now we're getting into what I would call the more daytime leaning ones, true hybrids. We're gonna start with Gorilla Glue, the classic chem and sour diesel. This one is on the drier side. It is crumbly. I would definitely place the site more at like a low seven. It still has some solid consistency to it. Mixed with that sour diesel for sure. I like it. It's gassy. It makes me want to just keep sniffing it. Throwback to when I first started manufacturing infused goodies. I only picked up GG. And that's because I knew the effects were always there. It always tested out the same. It was consistent. Right off the bat, gassy on the inhale, almost a, like tang, not like citrus. You know, a little bit of twang in there. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of twang. During the day, this is what I'm grabbing. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's like an 8.7. Mm. And the sight, I give it like a, it's like a seven. It's average, 8.7 on the nose. The taste is interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'd say it's more rating like, a seven, seven on taste. It's good. and the effects. Oh, the effects are low. I'm giving like a like eight point nine, an eight point nine with a twang. All right, let's go on to Gary Payton. This is the last one. I would call this the most. Oh. There goes the cat. Sativa leaning, and it is snowman crossed with the Y. Mmm. This looks the second prettiest. So I'd rate this site at like a 8.7, 8.8. Mm, so pretty. It's very congealed together, has a nice turp layer. There's a nice glob in there. Ooh, it's just so pretty, so light, so pristine. Besides where I already took some out of. But yeah, I love it. I think she's gorgeous. It does tickle your nose a little bit. So there is a little funk in there. I almost feel it in my throat, ooh. I give this smell because it does tickle my nose and my throat. It is doing something for me. I rate this at almost like a, an eight, solid eight. I almost wish it had a more distinct smell, but it's like, it's penetrating into my nose and into my throat and doing some weird stuff. I like it. So I give that an eight and can consistency 8.8. .8. This is really good. I really like it. Well, let's try it. Last one. Ah, uh, I feel like we went on a journey together. Terp tasting journey. If you're a session along with, you got some products, you got your rate loaded up. I made that face. 
face, guys. I'm at the end. Pardon me. Very light, very earthy. Nothing too overpowering. It didn't tickle my palate quite like it did my, my nose and my throat when I did my little smell test. The effects on this though, head wiry. Like I'm ready to on to the next video. Like the effects on this, almost instant. I really like this. It's like a little like shot of espresso. I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. The taste on that, five, six, five and a half. Final vote, 5.75. The effects though, love the effects. We're gonna eat eight and a half. Really impressed. Final vote for Gary Payton though, I would say. Solid eight. The texture was there. I like the nose. So yeah, solid eight. To recap, I would rate my top one, the melted strawberries. This ends for me just like really high, 8.9. This is so good. And then probably the biggest letdown for me, I hate to say it, is the velvet cake with the lemon cherry gelato. I really expected it to be much more flavorful. All the other ones, none of them were bad. Let me preface that. I'm grateful to have all this product. I'm so happy to be enjoying and sharing it with you guys. I am by no means like saying any of these are bad. All of these were really good. I was really impressed with this Terp flight. This was solid. Biggest surprise, how the Gary Payton tickled my nose and my throat. Like that was unexpected. I love that that caught me off guard. Just the diversity here. I really like how it varies in effects and flavors, not sacrificing quality. It's all good product. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you made it to the end, comment flight. If you'd like to see more of me, don't forget to also subscribe. And don't forget to check out my previous video where I shared shocking facts about mold in your glass. And stay tuned for the next video, which is a tattoo tour. Thanks for being here. I post every Thursday and Saturday, so I'll see you real soon. Peace. And if you haven't heard it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye.